The next phase of the project for the trailer is to install a motorcycle wheel chock. So I've got my trailer backed into my garage and I've set the chock down there. I've taken an initial measurement. That line right there is 80 inches from the back door of the trailer. 80 inches is where I have a wheel chock positioned in another trailer that I own. So the 80 inches designates where the little mounting shoes will go for these little feet. So it'll be something like that. So the next thing to do is wheel the motorcycle in here so I can get an idea of positioning of the wheel chock left to right. I wheeled my DRZ400 into the trailer. Kind of got it positioned pretty decent. I may move the wheel chock just over to the right a little bit. So if we stand the bike up level, we've got about to, oh, two and a half inches or so of clearance. I've got the position of all my holes marked. You have one here, one there, one there, one here, and then this is the front hole, which is right there. So I'm going to drill this one first, position the chalk back in place, and then drop this screw through that hole. That'll hold this in place. Then I want to double check all those mounting hole locations again. This front hole has a large threaded nut insert, so we'll go ahead and drill, drill the hole out bigger for that. And get that threaded into the floor. Then I can lock this down securely while I verify these holes again. And these little feet get positioned with the small end facing forward. So I'll drop it into the hole here, slide it back. have all of the holes positioned just perfectly, we should be easily able to slide this back. Once or twice I've had these slightly at an angle and the feet didn't slide in and out evenly. They kind of tend to bind up just a little. So Underneath the trailer this is where the screws come through so you can see that I've smeared a little bit of sealant around each screw hole and we'll just install the nut in the washer
and then tighten it down. And I just need to go back up, up top and reposition my wrench. It's a lot easier if you have somebody helping you hold the wrench then you can do all of these at, at the same time. As I tighten the nut down below, this will have a tendency to spin counterclockwise, so it'll just beat itself into that and then we'll be good. And go back underneath and repeat the process. For the right side of the bike, it looks like I can use this particular tie-down that's already in the floor. The angle and everything seems to be good. And over here, I'm going to locate this tie-down a little bit further forward than it is on the other side because I don't have as much width. If I were to put it at the same location on the floor as far as front to back, my clip ends up hitting the bodywork of the bike so I'm just gonna bring that forward a little bit to give it a little bit more angle. For my tie down that I'm gonna position up against the wall I've decided to use a piece of L-Track and I've drilled a couple of holes and countersunk them and positioned this where I wanted it but then I went down below the trailer and drill the hole up as close to the frame member as I possibly could. I didn't want to drill down from the top for fear of hitting the, the framework down below. So I've drilled four holes and then countersunk each hole and then got some nice screws here that I'll use. This is what it looks like when I've got it mounted up and I installed one of the little tie-down rings. So you can see the point of countersinking those holes and so the screws mount flush. And there's my chalk and then this is my loading ramp over here. So I am ready to go with uh, hauling a motorcycle in the trailer now.